Well, a possible threat to what were improving ties between China and Australia. A Beijing court has handed Australian dissent, uh, dissident writer rather, Yang Hengjun a uh, suspended death sentence on espionage charges. Yang has been detained in China for the past five years. His closed door trial on the espionage case took place three years ago. He was a pro-democracy novelist who blogged about China's state affairs. He was arrested while on a rare trip back to China in 2019. He denies the allegations. Australia has expressed shock at China's decision. We will continue to advocate uh, uh, and express our views to China. Obviously, this is the Chinese legal system. Uh, we are uh, uh, and there are appeal uh, avenues available to Dr Young, which I don't intend to uh, preempt. Uh, I would say uh, the important thing today is for is two things. Uh, the first is for the Australian government, so me on behalf of our, our country, to express our views uh, about our view about the verdict uh, and our view about the sentence, I should say. Uh, and the second is to express our, our empathy. Uh, with and solidarity with uh, Dr. Young's family. Yeah. For more, CNA's Lo Mimin joins us live from Shanghai. Uh, Mimin, what happens next? Australia is hopeful, but can China still be persuaded to change Young's sentence? Well, look, this verdict has already been long delayed. It came five years after he, he was arrested. He had a secret trial in 2021, which was criticized by Australian officials because the details of the case against him was not made public. And so, look, Australia has had several years to lobby for him to no avail. And we can contrast his case with that of another Australian detainee. Uh, journalist Cheng Lei was released from jail after three years in prison, also on national security charges. Uh, she was released less than four months ago, in part thanks to lobbying efforts by the Australian government. But remember, Cheng Lei was arrested because she had broken a government embargo several minutes early on air. But Yang's case is much more complicated than that because of his personal background. He was a former employee of China's Ministry of State Security in 1989 before he emigrated to Australia. He became became uh, a pro-democracy activist, publicly criticizing the Chinese Communist Party online. He also became an academic and was a visiting scholar at Columbia University in New York before he was arrested on a visit to China. And he had also written three spy novels about a double agent, also surnamed Yang, and published them in Taiwan. So Mr. Yang's children, they have been pushing for him to be released on medical parole because they were told that he has a cyst in his kidney. But so far, that has not been granted. And it, it remains a big question mark whether Beijing will change, uh, reverse this decision in future. Mm, I guess the question is, uh, how will this affect China-Australia relations only just beginning to tour? That's right. So this case has already been a point of friction between the two countries. No doubt the harsh penalty this time is going to weigh on relations again that had just only began to take a turn for the better in recent years, especially after the current Prime Minister Anthony Albanese took office in 2022. That led to the two countries normalising trade relations. Last year, we saw Australia uh, withdrawing its complaints to the WTO and China lifting some tariffs on Australian goods. And that's because China and Australia still need each other. Australia needs China for its vast export market, and China needs Australia for the rich mineral resources and commodities that it can offer. So um, while analysts say that Australia will want to ring fence the spillover effects from this case from affecting the broader bilateral relations, they said that officials will have a tough time selling that to the domestic public in Australia, especially given the public sympathies for this human rights case.
Mm, have to leave it there for now, but thanks uh, so much, CNA's Lo Min Min reporting live to us from Shanghai.